Well guys, today we're going to do something that I've never actually done before. And what that is, is we have some custom decals made. Now, the company in my mind, uh, they uh, actually sponsored me for this. But um, we're going to also be doing a giveaway. So stick, stay tuned to the end of the video and you guys can figure that out. But this here is about the biggest door wrap they make. This is 30 by 50. And this is actually really, really large. This is almost to the point where... I should have actually downsized and got like a 24 by 40, but heck, I didn't know, so I ordered the biggest one possible. Um, we also did get a door, uh, roof sign as well from them, and uh, my buddy's got a couple of roof signs as well. But um, he gave me a quick crash course on how to mount these, and honestly, it really doesn't seem that difficult. So what we have here is a soapy water solution, and what we're going to do is just spray it on the doors and wipe it down to try to get all the dirt and grease off the car, because as you guys know, Everything I touch is covered in grease, so we just want as much grease off the doors as possible. The reason why I say these door wraps are a little bit too big is because where I am, the doors have to be painted white. And these wraps are so large that they actually kind of hide out a little bit of the door white. So that's why I'm saying that 24 by 40 might be a little bit better. Now, if you guys noticed, I actually did remove my seat belts off of these doors so that the wrap can adhere a little bit better. Now, by no means am I a professional rapper. I've never once sang a song. I'm joking. But uh, we're going to try our best to get this on there. Um, it is going to have some wrinkles. It is going to have some air bubbles. But we're going to try to get that out a little bit later with the heat gun. So let's get going and trying to put this thing on. The first thing that we're going to do is kind of decide where we want to wrap. Now, I think it would look fantastic right there, but unfortunately, we're kind of covering up the whole drive, sorry, the passenger door, but realistically, I don't think the passenger door is as important as the driver door. So on the driver door one, I'm going to set it back about halfway on the door, but for the passenger side, I think it would be fine if we just go to where it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some masking tape, and we're going to tape on these decals to the top of the doors here. So what this is going to do is make the decal basically stay in place and give me a little bit of leeway so that I can move it around and the decal not become super, super crooked or sideways on the doors. So like I said, this size right here is actually 30 by 50. And the 30 inches actually goes all the way to the bottoms of the doors. Maybe get the dirt off the bottom of the doors might help them fit. So that is another thing. If you have dirt, this is not going to stick as well as it could. So if you have a whole bunch of dirt and it starts peeling off, it's not really the sticker's fault, it's your fault. And it's going to be my fault because this car is dirty, dirty. So we have our tape on it now. What we're going to do, we're just going to fold the whole sticker up so it's actually right upside down. Now, I actually cut all my fingernails yesterday, so I don't have any fingernails to peel this away. So I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to just start the peeling process. So just like that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel away the top half of the actual decal. As you can see, the tape is holding this decal in place for the most part. You don't really want to touch the back side of the decal because it's just getting more dirt into the decal itself. So now that it's peeling away, oh, it's all falling on itself. Jeez. In true Zach's workshop style, everything's gone to crap pretty fast. We fixed it! We fixed it! We did it! So 
So there you go, we got the top stuck. Now we're going to get our squeegee tool. With our squeegee tool, we're just going to start at the top and work our way down. And as it goes, it kind of peels the backing off as it goes down. You want to kind of try to force out some of the air as you're going. Air behind it is basically less sticking properties. Now, you guys may, may remember that I am not the world's best painter. And I'm going to tell you this right now, I'm not the world's best decal sticker. That's for sure. So we're just going to work our way down. Pushing everything apart as it goes down. actually going on pretty fast. This is a lot faster than painting. There's the door handle right there. Guys, we're halfway there. Now, door wraps are not for everybody. I remember that this was a topic on actually Zach's workshop on Facebook about two or three weeks ago now. And some of you guys said it'd be really cool to have door wraps. Some of you guys said it's a waste of money. But realistically, it comes down to what you guys want. I'm a big fan of trying everything once. That's why I did that HHR, because I haven't seen any of those ran up until I tried one. And it actually surprised me. So, you know what, we're gonna try this. I have, uh, I kinda think this car is gonna last two, maybe three demolition derbies. So we'll see how this door wrap actually holds up. Now, unfortunately, around me, if you have door wrap, you cannot go in best in show, but who knows, maybe I'll go in, but I don't expect to win because people that take the time to paint their cars definitely deserve a best in show a little bit more than the people that just wrap them, but that's just my opinion. If they want to give me best in show, I'm definitely going to take it, but who knows. Well, boys and girls, we're over 75% on this decal now. Next body line in the door. So there we go, we basically have this on. Now, there is another step, as you guys, I don't know how good my camera is, but 
you might be able to see that there's a whole bunch of wrinkles and air bubbles in this. Now there is a way to get these out and that's a heat gun. Now for you guys that are more professional and want everything to look amazing, I'm going to break out a heat gun just for you. So now with the heat gun, we can kind of get out a little bit more of the wrinkles and the air bubbles and help get stuck to the car. If you have a really big air bubble, you're having a little bit of a hard time getting out, put a little hole in it, let the air out, add a little bit of heat, and then you can just push the air out of that hole. This is an art style, and anything that's artistic does take talent, and unfortunately, talent with painting and art supplies is something that I am not the best at. So, if you guys are a little bit scared to try this on your own, make sure that you have somebody come over that actually does it and do it. The gentleman that is sponsoring me just said he had to run to another job because he is pretty busy these days. So. Can't really blame him. He gave me a quick crash course, and I said I can do it. So just trying to do it myself. So once we have the wrap on there, if you guys remember, I told you that we cut the, the holes for the seat belts. We took the seat belts out. All we're going to do now is just cut our holes back for our seat belts. Just cut off that dude's hat, but that's okay. He didn't like his hat anyway. So now, just simple as that, you just take the knife, put your holes, and then rerun your seat belts. Goes right over top of it. So the decals do have their pluses and minuses, but honestly, I kind of really like them. Hopefully uh, we can get some more on some derby cars and hopefully any of you guys that want to try decals this can be a, some sort of video where you guys start looking into it. I've seen a lot of guys do it. Uh, Bash for Cash, Fall Brawl, Blizzard Bash. You see these guys with these amazing door wraps and I was actually pretty impressed with some of them. Some of these door wraps are staying on there. Six. Sorry, not six. Some of these door wraps are staying on there like two, three runs on a car. That's pretty impressive for a sheet of plastic. So, I don't know. I wanted to try one for quite some time now. So, Mr. Seatbelt just got tied back up. But, uh, I don't know. I kind of like these things. But, uh, let's get towards that uh, free giveaway that we were talking about there last week. So, for the giveaway, what we're going to do is we're going to make you guys a roof sign. Uh, much like this one, we actually have some ones that he's made up already. Let me show you. So here is a design for a buddy of mine, and this is the type of roof sign we're going to give away. These roof signs are actually quite large, and um, I think they look fantastic. Um, we're going to get these mounted up onto a piece of uh, steel for you, and we'll get it shipped out to you free of charge. We'll cover shipping and everything. So all you have to do to be entered into a contest to get a free roof sign with your name, your number, and some kind of background that you guys want, maybe talk about some cool um, design thing that you want to do with them, anything from camouflage to, I don't know, what do you guys think? Just can't be copyrighted, so just remember that. And um, anyway, so all you have to do is leave a comment on this video and go to In My Mind page on Facebook and make sure that you like that as well. And when we draw the names, we'll cross-reference and make sure that you guys are like the page and entered in the contest. And I'll put up uh, their Facebook link in the description below. And uh, I'd really like to thank, in my mind, here's their logo right in the bottom corner. Because they actually came to me and they said that they want to give back to the Demolition Derby drivers. And... This is honestly one of the best ways we can, is free giveaways, free to enter, all you got to do is comment. So, this is our way of giving back to the Demolition Derby community, and something that you guys can actually use on your Demolition Derby cars. So, make sure you guys leave a comment, and make sure that you go to Facebook and like their page.
like I said, the, their link will be in the description comments below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. The contest will actually be drawn on March 21st. So make sure you guys get your uh, entries in before then. I'll be sure to put a plug in a whole bunch of my new videos so you guys remi uh, remember to enter to this contest. It is free. Remember that, free to enter. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, make sure that you head over to Facebook and like their page and leave a comment on this video. And hopefully you guys win. The contest will be drawn on the 21st of March. See you guys then. Take care.